uh, Julia, in the, in the news in, in your um, home country, original home country, Australia, is the Prime Minister sort of sending a bit of a meh, message about International <laughs> Women's Day. I think his, his message was, well, you know, you've got to be careful this doesn't take away from men. Now, obviously, that went down like a ton of bricks <laughs> with this audience. But I would guess he said it for a reason and that there is a feeling sometimes that that is the way that some people, it's amused Annie anyway, well, um, <laughs> that, that is a way that sometimes people feel about it. What did you make of it? Uh, well, I prefer not to involve myself in Australian domestic politics any longer. <laughs> I think, it's a bit late for that, I, I though, think, isn't uh, it? <laughs> I think decoding our current Prime Minister might be a job for others, not for me. Mm. Uh, but I did want to say on this global feminism, um, you know, new title uh, that Annie has christened. Uh, we've done some global research with Ipsos Mori on what people are thinking out there right around the world. And it comes out of that research very strongly that men are actually looking for some differences in their lives. Uh, when asked if a man stays home and cares for children, is that emasculating? Mm. By a large majority, they say, no, no, it's not. And they also say by a majority that they want employers to offer them more flexibilities so that they can do a better job of caring for their kids. Now, actually, when you wrap all of that up, what they're looking for um, is the gender equality movement to succeed so that they can get out of the, the boxes and the stereotypes that they're currently put in. Mm -hmm. And I think if we can you know, talk about that, how gender equality gives everybody more options, more choices, then it can be more inclusive globally.